This is Ryan, Ryan Love and Joy for Women. And today I'm here with my friend Moira. And Moira is a mindset cultivator and tarot consultant with wellnesswithmoira.com. So welcome, Moira. Thank you so much, Ronnie. I so love doing these with you. I know. It's so fun. We're going to be doing the love forecast for the month of November. We've already been in for um, a week already. Today's the seventh, but that's all right. There's still uh, plenty of time to go, and we might as well find out what's in store for those people looking for love or already in love, right? Absolutely. All right, Absolutely. cool. So um, how are we going to begin? What What did you want to start with today? Well, one thing, so as as you know, when we have these conversations, I just kind of tune into what, what I realize things are doing planet-wise, because um, we're in Mercury retrograde. Oh, yeah. We speak. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's we're, so Mercury is staying in retrograde until November 20th. And you know, it's actually perfect timing because retrogrades are a gift. Uh, you know, uh, uh -huh. Uh, uh, popular opinion is, is that, they, you know, people shake their fist and, and, and think it's really terrible. But, you know, for all the people that in, in your, your circles, Ronnie, that are looking for love or are looking for relationship, Mercury retrograde is all about, well, Mercury itself is all about communication. And a retrograde is the appearance of things going backwards or things breaking and getting undone. But here's the thing. It's a brilliant time to get really clear on how are you showing up? What do you want to attract? What do you want to tell people about you? So this is a really lovely introspection time. And this is the last Mercury retrograde of 2019. So it's a great time for you to really reflect on how have you been going? How is things going? How are you talking about yourself? Are you, maybe it's time to revamp that, that dating profile or do things in a wee bit of a different way. Well, I'm going to pick up on something you just said. Mm -hmm. You said something about talking about yourself. Yes. Well, I want to take that a step further, and I'm going to take it to talking to yourself. <laughs> yeah, because, absolutely. Yeah. there. Is, I have really been diving into this area with my clients and with my writing because I have become so profoundly aware of the fact that we're just so mean. Oh, yourself. Yeah. Say that, and so here we are, Mercury retrograde. Time to reflect. I'd love for people to reflect not only your personal presentation to the world, but how do you think of yourself? How do you speak to yourself? Because if all love starts with self love, love, which I know is such a cliche, but it's a cliche, but it's a powerful truth. Yeah, it's really true. And learning how to speak to yourself, I swear, that's really what I'm spending my time as a coach doing, mm -hmm. is helping women figure out how to talk to themselves. Because ultimately, I can't be there in every moment, nor would I want to be, nor would they want me there. But they need to coach themselves. So learning how to talk to themselves is massive. And this is a great time to do it. Mercury retrograde. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So there's 14 more days or 13 more days to practice being nice. You know, be nice to yourself. Love yourself. Say kind things. Become aware even mm -hmm. of how to speak to yourself because you probably don't even realize how much um, mean, damaging, unsupportive, unkind things you say on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And that's what I'm really working to raise my consciousness about. Absolutely. And you know, Ronnie, the other thing that just landed for me as you're talking about that, about how you talk to yourself, to yourself, about yourself, this is a really good time. If you, In being introspective and checking in with this, this is an excellent time to start thinking about, and we'll, we can go into this a wee bit more next month. Remember we talked about the one word theme. We did it last year together, I believe. Right? So it's this is time to start reflecting on what word do you want oh. to have as your theme for 2020? The one word theme. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. I'm, yeah. I'm, I've become a huge fan of this. This will be my third year coming up that I'm Good. doing. This yeah. It's great to have the, that focal point. Of like, oh, what am I working on again this year? Oh, yeah. one word. How simple, right? Remind me what your word was for this year. This year is flourish. Flourish. And I've done flourish theme and, and that's wonderful. Mine is intentional for this year. But wow. you know, I've already got the word circling. And that, that's why I'm I'm encouraging your your peeps here to just start watching. 
Start yeah. watching. And, and like I said, Mercury retrograde is a brilliant time because you're really watching your communication. You're watching the words that come out of your mouth and the thoughts that you have. And this is all about being the love that you want to attract into your life. And so how is that going to show up? So now that we've kind of set all that idea up, I'm going to pull a tarot card. I want what? to pull two different kinds of cards, but have you got cards to pull for us I too? Do. I okay. do. I'm going to okay. do mine in the middle. So while you're Whoa. talking about that, pull you, how you think about yourself also will really be describing or impacting who you attract too, right? Ab so absolutely. All of that in mind when we look. So go ahead. What did you get? Did you see that card? card? Like, look at this. This is awesome. It's the world. What's it say at the bottom? It's, I couldn't see. It's the world. Oh, the world. That's what I thought. But then I saw the woman with the um. Sword. Well, she's done. She's 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 like the powerful one that has the world in the palm oh, of her hand. Such a great card. All right, fill us in. What's it? Well, mean? isn't that awesome? Because it totally lines up with with what we were just talking about. It's like really looking forward to creating the world that you want to be in. Uh -huh. so how does how does that feel for you? So, you know, what if if you do have issues like like communications going a bit wonky it's just a reflection of uh maybe needing to get clearer maybe needing to really own what is it you want to create what do you want to attract into your life and there is no limits on this there's no limits so i love the the world card so i really feel like that was really backing up what we were just talking about about being careful about your communication but also with a view to what you want to step into in 2020 it's a very powerful card and you yeah. know the other the other thing that was really exciting about this november energy is that tomorrow tomorrow november 8th we are exactly halfway from the the autumn equinox and the the, the yeah. yeah so so really yeah the solstice so nice energy lining up here like real real sort of expansive kind of energies here yeah you know honestly I'm so happy by the time we get to the winter solstice. Yeah. And I know we're going to get more light. I just get so excited. So do I. So do I. It's like there's, and, and it seems to me, it, I always find it goes really quickly. Oh, very, very quickly. But isn't there something about how this time of year, towards the end, um, when the light is getting lower and lower, that that is, again, you know, dovetailing the Mercury retrograde thing, a great time to look within and reassess. Really? And, mm -hmm. and plan and how perfect it is because right before the new year mm -hmm. so it really gives you time to think about what do you want to create next year and that's that world card what are we gonna what do you want to attract what kind of man what kind of relationship what kind of love mm -hmm. and who are you gonna be how will you present yourself and speak to yourself on your way on that journey to find the love that you want or to hold on to the love that you want either yeah. way yeah I love that you said that because, you know, this is about, uh, to me, I've talked about this with my clients, is about the idea of living in rhythm with what the planet's doing and, then, and the other planets around us because we are planetary beings, right? Yeah, yeah. But it, it's like if we live with the seasons, you know, when when daylight starts to fade and it's dark, that's time to, to sit in reflection and plant seeds. So, right. so Yeah. So you're planting seeds that you want to have them germinate in the springtime as the as light increases. So that's your lots of fun. If you can allow yourself to let go, looking for love and creating love is fun. If you allow yourself to if be you're that. Allowed, yeah. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Mindset is everything. It you're absolutely is. Cultivator. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm very big on that because it's easy to let it be hard and it's so hard to meet a decent guy, blah, 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 all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it, whether you feel it's true or not, it doesn't necessarily serve you or support you in your goal. Yeah. So anytime you can think about that, it might be more fun or that you could enjoy yourself or that um, meeting more men is just an adventure, then yeah. you are doing yourself such a favor because anytime you can take the pressure off and lighten up, you're so much more attractive. I completely agree. It shows right. up in your face. So yeah. you're gonna do you're gonna do a card and then I'm gonna do one more too. Great. All right. So let's see. What does the month of November hold for us in the love forecast? Of course, we can't forget about gratitude either, but we'll get to that. 
Oh, wow. What's that one? This Beautiful. is springtime, or it's two tulips, so it's the it's relationship. My deck. Yeah. So my deck is called Elemental Wisdom, and it's all about um, just things from the earth and sky, basically. That's it. There's um, there are no animals or anything. It's just literally, literally everything from earth and sky. Mm -hmm. And so this card is two tulips, and I think of it as partnership. Um, so it is, um, it could be friendship, it could be partnership, it could be, I, I think of it as love. And plus, um, tulips are a springtime flower, and, mm -hmm. you know, love blossoms in the spring, just as a traditional way of looking at things. So that is a very interesting card for November. So uh, this could be a good month to meet the right guy. Because so that, know, go ahead. No, no, you finish your thought because I have something else to, that came up for that too. It's just that um, I you don't usually get that card or that often mm -hmm. because a lot of times we're working on all kinds of things or we're trying to clean up or we're trying to you know stretch ourselves or whatever. But here it is. That's the relationship card. So I personally am very excited. So good news. Be social in November. You know, get online, go to meetups, um, ask your friends for fix ups. You know, there are two of the there's three big days throughout the year for online dating. January 1st, because everybody gets that New Year's resolution now. This is the year I'm going to find love. And <laughs> Um, also, at the end of summer, that first week in September when the kids go back to school and people start going back to their normal lives after vacations. And the, you know, the number one biggest day of the year is, or that weekend is after Thanksgiving. Oh, in, interesting. Thanksgiving. Interesting. Yeah. That's, that's, that's something really cool. Home, or they have time on their hands. It's a three-day mm. weekend, blah, 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 four-day weekend. So, yes, yeah, so get out there. All right. So, what were you going to say? Well, you know, the thing that, that intuitively landed for me with your card is bulbs are planted in the autumn. Yeah, they're planted now in November. So they're planted now. And so that is very much in alignment with that idea of planting seeds. Yeah. But it was also a promise of you plant the seeds now. Look what you're stepping into. And I just really got a sense of excitement of that. It's like you're nurturing your ideal love. Yes. Right? That that And I just thought that was really exciting. I think that is really exciting. And it's another great way of looking at it. So if it just so happens that you don't meet the ideal man this November, just know and believe. And, uh, you know, you get to get that feeling deep inside that you yeah. see the seeds, you're doing the work, yeah. you're putting yourself out there, you're keeping yourself positive. It, love is on its way. Love is on its way. And so it's to, to, to trust and follow your intuition. Like really mm. tap in. And like, like Ronnie, that, those are great ideas. You just keep keep giving them ideas about following, you know, online dating or bumping into something or signing up or, or going somewhere different. Going but, somewhere different and being yeah. friendly while you're there. You know, when you travel, that's another thing. Mm -hmm. Anytime you travel is a great time to meet people. People are a little more talkative. You can meet people on. I always meet people on the plane or while I'm waiting. I yeah. chat with anybody. So it's easy. And um, people don't feel a lot of risk when they're traveling and talking to people because they feel like, well, I'll never see that person again. But yeah. You, yeah. Might. you might. You never know. That's right. I know somebody who married somebody they met on a plane. Oh, yeah? That's yeah. fun. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. So on that note, oh, look at this. This is so fun. I love how these cards work. So look at the artwork of this. Oh, that's so Isn't that amazing? So check it out. This is, this, is out, this is out of the Soulful Woman deck. I really yeah. love these ones. But it's Princess Charming. That's amazing. Isn't that fun? So um, here, this is beautiful. So let me read. This is an affirmation to okay, bring great. this energy in. And so it says, I take the horse by the reins and become my own Princess Charming, taking care of my own needs. Isn't that a brilliant way to wrap up this conversation? I got to tell you, that is blowing me away because, <laughs> you know, Princess Charming, you have to be Princess Charming if you want Prince Charming. Like if you're really Absolutely. That amazing man, then you need to be an amazing woman. So I love Princess Charming. Yeah. So you're leading the horse. It's your journey. Get what you want out of it. Put what you want into it. Mm -hmm. you know? 
Mm-hmm. So yeah, and take the reins because ultimately you're in charge and we might not control all the timing, but yeah, if you follow the path, you will find that. I mean, yeah. I did. Yeah. I, I never thought I would, but I did. You and did so it. over time as I worked on it, I really worked hard to believe, 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 believe that all of my effort was going to pay off and it did. And, and that that is a beautiful way to wrap this up. It is the belief. That, so it's belief to, to know it's taken care of. Then you just watch the timing because you can't always control the timing, but yeah. you do, still need to step into that trust, trust of you, trusting that you're tapping into your own inner guidance and it will show up. And then you just get busy being Princess Charming. Being that's, that's, that's your it. your part. Right. I gotta tell you though, this is really out of all the months we've been doing it, this is definitely the most positive and hopeful Absolutely. month with everything really coming together. So mm-hmm. I'm very excited. I hope anybody who's watching this will really take this to heart and know that love is your destiny. So let's wrap it up by talking about just a little gratitude, right? Mm. So um, we have Thanksgiving here in the US this month. And this is a great time to feel gratitude. So while you're doing that self-reflection, why not take stock about what is good in your life? Yeah. Because your appreciative nature and energy is so magnetic. Yes, absolutely. Universe says, oh, you like that? Here's some more. Here's some more. Exactly. That's beautiful. Oh, Warma, this was so much fun. Excellent. I and so happy Thanksgiving. I forgot that it's because no, we have Thanksgiving in October. I know it makes more sense to me because things are still growing then. But <laughs> we have what we have, right? But you know, you we should have Thanksgiving in every month anyway. Uh, what a beautiful thought! Yeah, why That's not? Great. I love why it. Not? All right, awesome. Enjoy. Thanks, Ronnie. We'll Good talk. Time. We'll do this again next month. I look forward to it. I can't wait to wrap up the year with you. Absolutely. Thanks again, Moira. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.